Edward Snowden, a former National Security Agency contractor responsible for leaking information about United States surveillance programs, has taken an oath of allegiance to Russia and has collected his Russian passport, his lawyer told state media on Friday. Welcome to Crypto News, today, we will talk about Edward Snowden getting his Russian passport and citizenship. Stay with us until the end of the video to learn more. Like and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button to get notified of all the latest updates. Let's jump to the topic. According to the Russian news agency Interfax, lawyer Anatoly Kucherina was quoted as saying that his client Edward had gotten a Russian passport the previous day and had sworn an oath in line with the law. After that, he continued, of course, he is delighted, and he is grateful to the Russian Federation for the fact that he was granted citizenship. And perhaps most significantly, according to the Constitution of Russia, he cannot be extradited to a country outside of Russia. Snowden, 39 years old, is wanted by the United States government on espionage allegations. He contends that his acts were taken in the best interest of the United States. In any event, his disclosures revolutionized the general public's perception of technology, privacy, and digital security, revealing the full extent of the digital spying activities run by the United States government. It is unknown whether Snowden took the oath of loyalty at the same time that he was issued a passport, nonetheless, these steps are typically taken when a non-Russian person applies for and is given Russian citizenship. The text requires the reader to make a solemn oath to protect the freedom and independence of the Russian Federation, to be loyal to Russia, to respect its culture, history, and traditions, and to promise to perform the duties of a citizen of the Russian Federation for the good of the state and society. After Russia invaded Ukraine and the country's subsequent fall into international isolation, the choice was made at an extraordinarily inopportune time. To defend the Ukraine area that it has illegally invaded, Russia has threatened to use nuclear weapons and has begun to prepare its populace for war. On Friday, Kucherina stated that Snowden was glad and that Snowden holding Russian citizenship would prevent him from being deported. According to Kucherina, the individual, of course, is glad and thankful to the Russian Federation for his citizenship. At this point, he is a fully fledged citizen of Russia. And perhaps most significantly, according to the Constitution of the Russian Federation, he cannot be handed over to a foreign power. It was impossible to get in touch with Kucherina immediately for further remarks. There is not a single photograph or video of the event that has been made public. Ned Price, a spokesman for the United States Department of State in Washington, stated that the United States was aware of reports that Snowden had completed the final steps necessary to obtain Russian citizenship. Price also stated that the Biden administration would not be surprised if the reports were accurate. Mr. Snowden has made it clear for some time that he is loyal to Russia. Price explained to the reporters that this action would merely constitute a formality. To obtain Russian citizenship, a person must take an oath to observe the constitution and legislation of the Russian Federation, the rights and freedoms of its citizens, to fulfill the duties of a citizen of the Russian Federation for the benefit of the state and society, to protect the freedom and independence of the Russian Federation, to be loyal to Russia, and to respect Russia's culture, history, and traditions. This oath must be taken before a notary public and is a legal requirement. Lindsay Mills, married to Edward Snowden, is also rumored to be asking for Russian citizenship. They currently raise their two sons, both of whom were born in Russia, in a region within the country that shall remain nameless. Snowden said in September that he and his wife had no desire to be separated from their sons because, after years of separation from our parents, we have no desire to be separated from our sons. My family has been living in exile for almost 10 years, so even a small amount of stability will be a welcome change after nearly two years of waiting. I pray they will have privacy, and we will all have privacy. If you made it to the end of this video and are interested in knowing more. Let us know which part of the video you liked the most in the comment section below. We will appreciate your comment and work to make a video on your desired topic with an account shout out. Please like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to be notified of our next video. Thanks for watching.